Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to use a Xena diode within the EasyEDA.com. EasyEDA.com is an online simulator and you are not supposed to install any sort of software offline. You just come here online, write EasyEDA.com in Google and then you can run your simulation of any sort of circuit. So how we can use a diode? So we need to take our Xena diode. We need to click on it. We need to rotate it out like this. Okay, now we, we, we need to take our voltage source. And what is the main attributor functionality of the Xena diode? It is used widely as the voltage regulator. Like if there is a certain voltage supply of like 20 volt and we just need around 9 or 10 volt around our element. So we will use the inner diode. Now we need to connect the positive end of our, sorry, uh, anode end. Okay, not positive, anode end. The correct pronunciation is anode. Anode end of the Zener diode with the negative part of the supply and positive end with the cathode of the Zener diode. But uh, in between this, we need to put one shunt, or uh, we cannot say it's a shunt, we just say that it is a series resistance, okay? It is uh, not shunt, it is series resistance. So we need to take one resistor. It's like 1K or its value may be less. It is just for to lower the amount of current that used to rush when diode is switched on. Okay. Okay. Now, this is our Zener diode. We need to take our ground as well. Like this. Okay. In the last, we need to take our multimeter. Okay, now we need to double click the uh, DC supply. So DC amplitude is like uh, 15, we can say like 15. Okay, again, we need to check. Okay, SC, oh, it's SC amplitude, okay. So we, we need to write zero and here. Okay, so 12 or like, uh, even we can write around like 25, okay. Zener diode used to tolerate a lot of voltages so i think that this either is able to transfer uh, for like 20.2 volt okay we also need to save the file oh no we need to save it and now we will run it now it says that 10.35 volt okay one more thing that we need to change it to like a 300 millisecond and then it's 10.354 volt okay now can we reduce it out yes we need to reduce it out so from 25 to 24 it's a 10.345 yeah it, it's a it's a the what's called is the property of the Zener diode to regulate the voltage so it is 10.335 okay even if we use to decrease it to like 15 volt still it will be like 10.2 or 10.3 so it's uh, like this okay so in this way we can safely use our component along the right side of this Zener diode so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use the Zener diode within the easyedia.com online simulator so don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for visiting